Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner. Welcome to your next tutorial on Laravel. Uh, and um, don't forget to visit DavePartner.com and leave any issues or any posts that you want. And uh, we really need some activity on the site. Alright, thank you. And uh, let's get back to what we are, we are doing before we um, ended the other tutorial. We are trying to do something called CS are a cross-site request forgery and we're trying to guard against it and see how laravel gets against it all right so in this tutorial that's just exactly what we're going to do we are going to look for a page and create a form just to demonstrate that in the past tutorials we created a pages controller and this pages controller contains a very, some very interesting functions that we created we created get about we created get contact and then we created one more that we call post contact that is for when someone submits a post from a form all right so let's try and um, see if we can uh, submit a form create this form so to do that we have to go to our views so to go to our views and create a form we just need to go to resources and uh, views when you get to resources you hit on views and uh, remember we created an extra folder that we called pages controller and what does our pages controller do it has two files called about and um, contact we're going to delete these guys here right click and delete file right click and delete file i'm deleting them because i've already moved them to this um, inner page inner folder that we created and called pages okay so what we want is um we want to create a form inside our contact page so when we create a form we want to submit this form just to demonstrate the use of uh, the the way laravel guards against csrf all right so to create a form i want to delete what we already have here and uh, create a form uh, but before i create a form i can just highlight hijack what we have in um, welcome.blade.php we have a, a, a complete page with css and everything um, that is the page that displays this um, nice guy to us laravel blog with home about contact this is the page here um where we have um laravel blog we have home about contact us so i want to copy the whole page so i will select all and uh, copy then i'll go to our forms page uh contact page select all paste then i'll save on my keyboard ctrl s and then we have exactly the page here so let's just confirm that we have done something correctly so we'll go to uh, this and say contact hit enter and uh, we have exactly this page so we want to create a form below this so we will just quickly say uh, uh, contact us all right very good then we delete all these guys then we create a form we create a form um, this is a basic HTML you know how to create a form in HTML so we have a form inside this form we're going to have a label and um, the label should be like um, email then we have an input we're going to create the email field and the email field will have a type of text and um, a name that we can call email great and um, we have to duplicate it for the password field or message you know whatever just call it message field so just for fun i'll put a br tag here this is not a perfect way to create a form but i'm just going to use it to demonstrate something uh, our message will be text and that will be message and um we're going to use another br tag which is another wrong way to create a form and um we'll create a submit button input input and uh, we call it type submit 
and uh, we call we'll give it a name and say the name is submit button and then finally we give it a uh, a value a value should be um, submit so that the person this is what the person will see on the button so let's just confirm that we've done a righteous thing and uh, we'll refresh and um, right we have our email just forget about the design of the form I'm just going to use it to demonstrate something we have email we have messages so the user is supposed to enter an email here is my real email and enter a message and click on submit we clicked on submit and nothing happened but let's just see what happened in the URL if you pan up a little what you will see in the URL is that it submitted this through a get request by default it passed the email the name we gave in the email field is email then it, this is the what is the email value then it passed the message and the message value so um which means we have to actually if we wanted to submit to post we have to specify your basic uh, html basically says uh, post we wanted to submit to post but then we need an a form action and i will say that um, the action should be let's just say get no post contact form so when uh we need to go and provide a route for this particular this guy so we will go to our routes and go to web.php and um, time to create a post route so we i'm so lazy what i'll just do is i'll Control C on my keyboard, Control V, and it duplicates this line for me. I'll Control Cut. I'll cut this and put it here. So when there is a post request, when there is a post request coming to this, we should um, use the method that we have in post Pages Controller Post about. So which means we should go to pages controller and specify this in the earlier tutorials we created this method we go to pages controller remember where we found it we go to app we we'll go to http and we go to controllers then you see a controller we created earlier in the video we call pages controller and in pages controller we have our get we created this get function uh we created this one again get contact then we created one interesting one that we called post contact this is the guy we're looking for because from web.php we are saying that when there is a post request coming to contact for this that we should um, use the method called post about in pages controller so in pages controller we have post um, post contact all right i'm not post about post contact all right that's sorted out so here we're going to do something first of all we need to re receive the request that is coming we say request this is how you do it in laravel we say request and then we're going to just uh, spit it out on the page just for demonstration purposes we just say return we say um return the request that we just received everything spit out everything on the page on a blank white page all right now that's sorted out what we have to do is to test the form again and then we come back to the form we we'll refresh now we've refreshed we say uh, the email is dave and the, the message is hello click submit what do we get an error laravel has automatically activated the security feature and saying that verify csrf token.php on line 68 there is a problem it's not allowing us to submit this form which means we need to add another invisible field to um, the form a hidden field laravel will use that field to generate a token for us so we will say um, come back to our contact form here is the form so we need to add one more extra field we we'll say 
um, this guy like this see cross site request forgery underscore field it's a function so this function will automatically add one more input field and call it um, a token and use it to generate a token for us so this will solve our problem if we get back to our form and uh, we visit this form I'll hit enter my keyboard Oops, sorry I'll go back to our contact page we have this guy hit enter my keyboard this is our contact page and it has this form we'll say that hey this is a hey, hey message then we submit of course the error didn't come again because we fixed it now but notice what is part out on the page on the page here we have an email we have our message hey then we have our submit button that was clicked but then we have something more interesting we have a token that is called um, that with this generated token all right so but the question is what if you don't want laravel to generate this token for you you're not interested you understand you want laravel to exclude some url because sometimes you're making you're working with some payment processors um, like stripe um, you may not need to use this token you may want to exclude it so that your payment uh, process will work perfectly well um, there's a place to exclude it it's in your middleware we go to app go to http then we click on middleware you will notice that there is a middleware that came with um, laravel and um, what you have when you click on it what you have is this default page that has this array asking you to exclude some um, urls so let's just say that we're working with stripe we can just tell it um exclude anything any url that comes that has stripe also exclude any url that has paystack so assuming we are working with these two payment processes so um, what, what will happen is that whenever a url contains paystack it will not uh, try to verify csrf token on it so thank you very much i hope you understand csrf token and i know you had a question when i mentioned middleware don't worry and somewhere down the tutorial we will explain what middleware is and give one or two examples all right so um thank you very much see you in the next tutorial don't forget to visit the partner.com and submit any issues or posts on any topic you want and uh, I, I hope uh, we will be able to solve your problem so thank you see you in the next video